Hey, this is Joe from Complete Carnivore, and I have the Hero Grill. Uh, it's a portable charcoal grilling system uh, sold by the folks at Fire and Flavor. Um, and I wanted to show it to you and test it out tonight. I'm going to cook some burgers tonight, uh, since that seems like a fairly simple, fairly good test on, on what it can do. Um, it comes in a box. It's all self-contained. It's all right here, uh, which, which is interesting. So let's pull it out of the box and see what we got. <clears throat> Comes in a really nice case. This is a nice, this is a pretty heavy duty, like waterproof case. So it, it's very portable, good for taking around with you. Uh, if you wanna take it to the park, take it in your RV, something like that would be good. Let me, well that's not good. The zipper came apart. Or just the little pull on it. Let's see if I can put that back on and uh, Get this open. All right, so let's see what this Hero Grill looks like. Never seen one before, this is my first time. You're doing this with me. So this is a full system. You can buy the grill separate without the case and without stuff. Right here, we got a, a nice uh, cutting board. Once again, it comes in a nice waterproof uh, Ziploc case, so it's not gonna get wet and damaged. nice wooden cutting board that's kind of the size of the grill what we got here oh this is the uh, this is the grill itself has all the directions and everything let's get this out of the bag it's got directions we don't need the directions all right so this is it it's a little portable grill. It has a built-in thermometer, which is nice because it's gonna measure temperature of the grill here. Uh, it's got a little spatula that's connected. Let me uh, cut that off. And uh, it's nice that it has, has a spatula with it that fits into the grooves of the grate. A lot of times with things like this, it's hard to get a spatula under this, but you can slide this right under and lift your burgers off that way. Uh, I believe this is bamboo. Feels like bamboo anyway. Uh, but yeah, this is just a little portable grill. Once again, it has a thermometer. You can take it out. You can use it to poke your meat. Um, I will probably use a different thermometer to test just to see how accurate this is. Uh, but it slides right in here. And like I said, it goes inside this tube. So it's also going to measure the uh, temperature of the, of, the, of the grill, which is kind of nice. And here is kind of what makes this grill unique this is their charcoal pod uh, it's all sealed up you can just tear the bag open don't need a knife uh, it's all vacuum sealed it's gonna stay dry uh, I like that everything's sealed up and it'll it'll stay nice and dry uh, if, if you have it I wouldn't say this is a grill for backpacking this thing is it's kind of heavy I mean all, all in all in the case and everything I think it's more for uh, like I said RVing it'd be good for tailgating depending on what you want to do. But this is the unique system about this. It's got uh, kind of an insulated little charcoal pod here. Uh, it's these little custom briquettes all, all, all stacked in here. Theoretically, you light one of the edges or you light the four corners, it burns, and you get about an hour or so of uh, cooking time out of this. It just kind of slides down underneath in here. Since the charcoal pod has this uh, insulation around it, theoretically, it's not going to burn down below. It's not, I mean, it, 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 I don't know if you can see here, but it only sits about an inch and a half off the table. Uh, I'm going to try it on a wood table, actually. So we're going to see if this thing burns or not. We're going to take some temperatures underneath so we can see what kind of uh, surfaces it can work on. If it will work on a, a plastic table like this one, or if it will work on a wood table or, or where. Because I can see this, you could take it to the park. Uh, and grill on it. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get six burgers on here. Uh, I'm gonna try and see what happens. Theoretically, you get an hour's worth of cooking time out of this. Um, it, about 450 degrees. They say if you shake it, once it's all lit, it'll get it to 650 degrees. And this is just uh, another two pack of charcoal pods. Um, one thing about the grill is that the charcoal pods, they're not cheap. It's like, it, I think they're 1250 a piece. 
Um, this isn't going to be something that replaces your everyday grill. It's not going to be something that you're going to use every weekend necessarily. Uh, if you live in an apartment and you can't have a charcoal grill and you just want to take something to the park and cook on, this seems like it's a good option. Once again, I've never lit it up before. We're going to do that in a bit. We're going to cook some burgers and we're going to see how this thing performs overall. All right, we're back with Hero Grill. We're going to get this lit. Um, I have it on a wood table here. We're going to see if that works. Uh, I don't know if it'll scorch. I don't think it will. This is insulated. Uh, so it's should protect it from, from getting too hot. But that's one thing I want to see is what kind of surface you can use this on. I uh, just got a butane little torch here. We're just going to light the corners of it. I lit this corner over here with a regular lighter, with a stick lighter, one of these. I didn't think it was going, but it's actually it actually is going. So I'm just gonna blast the, the corners here for a few seconds. And then theoretically it should light itself. So we'll see. Once again, you should get about an hour of, of uh, heat out of this. I'm cooking up some burgers, so I don't need a ton of time. But uh, this is the first time I've lit this, so I, I'm not sure how this will go. But we'll see. We'll give this in a few more seconds just to see how it lights. Let's hit this one again. Uh, the company sells a lighter specifically for this. It's more of a butane lighter like this, not just a standard lighter. Um, so yeah, we'll see how long this takes to heat up. I can hear it cracking and popping, so it's warm. So let's slide this into the grill, just like that. And we'll let this go. And in a, in a, in a bit here, we'll, we'll see how long it takes for it to get fully lit. We'll measure some temperatures. Um, and see how hot it is underneath here so we'll see here in a few minutes how this how this thing works i got six burgers i want to cook i don't think i can get them all on here i think i might be able to get four they're third pound burgers so they're pretty big uh but we'll see we'll be back in in a bit and we'll start doing some cooking all right it's been about 15 minutes since we lit it you can see the coals are getting ashed over there uh they're starting to look a little bit white I can feel it. It's hot. It's not like blazing hot. I can put my hand right there and keep it for a little bit. Looking down, I'm not sure if you can see the thermometer. That says it's 400, about 450, 440 degrees. Uh, I think we're going to get ready to cook. Right now, I can put my hand under here. I can touch the bottom of the charcoal pod. And it's, it's warm, but it's not hot. So it seems like this would be just fine using on a picnic table or anything like that. I'm going to try to give the charcoal pot a little shake and see if that bumps the temperature up a little bit. So we'll see. Kind of breaks up the charcoal a little bit. Might make it a little bit warmer. Uh, let's see what happens with it. All right. Let's put some burgers on. Uh, just got some nice third pound patties. I don't think I'm going to, I won't be able to get four of them on here. I'll probably just have to go with three. So do a couple batches of three. Um, I saw it right before I put them on. You saw it before that, salt does weird things to the ground meat texture and you get kind of a weird textured burger. So that's all I use is just some salt. These are hand formed patties it uses I'm using uh, some Porter Road ground beef. It's one of my favorite ground beefs for hamburgers and for anything else for that matter. We'll get the other three on a second batch. It'll be good to see how, make sure everything stays warm for a long enough time. All right, let's salt this side. All right, sizzling. Things are definitely hot. The grill is definitely warm. So we'll let these cook for a few minutes and we'll be back. All right, we'll a couple minutes in. Usually this is when you'd start seeing some uh, flare ups and flame ups on the grill as the fat and the burger melts down onto the coals. I could see it dripping, dripping down a little bit underneath there uh, and it's not flaring up, which is kind of nice. Pretty smoky, 
Uh, that's to be expected. So, still need another minute or two on this side. It's not, it's, it's not like blazing hot. It'll definitely cook the burgers, but it's not gonna get that, I don't think it'll get that nice crusty uh, exterior on it like I was hoping. But we'll see what happens here in the next uh, few minutes. All right, burgers are almost done. Just wanted to give a few temperatures. If we look underneath here, we're only looking about 85 degrees. So it's definitely not gonna melt the table or burn anything there. Looking at the charcoal, we're getting 580. Mm. So it's getting, it's, it's definitely warm in there. Uh, once again, you can see it kind of here on the, on the burger. It didn't get the nice, super crusty exterior we want. Uh, but like if we take a picture of the temperature of this grate here, oh, we're looking at 300, 250. It's kind of jumping around. So, I mean, it's going to, it's going to sear, but it's not going to give you a nice crusty spot. You'll get grill marks. Uh, I can see a few of those on the burgers before I put the cheese on. So you'll get some grill marks. You're not going to get a nice crusty sear. Uh, so I'll be back in a couple minutes with some more, uh, info about the grill. All right, the second batch of burgers are, are getting close to being done. Um, first impressions of the grill is it's easy to use. It lights up well. It uh, gets hot enough to cook burgers. It would do fine with chicken, maybe some small steaks, uh, hot dogs, obviously. Uh, anything simple and basic like that would be good. I don't think you're going to want to cook a, a $100 ribeye steak on here or, or anything like that. I don't think it would do good with like a whole chicken. Probably just be too big. I think you could fit like four quarter pound burgers on here, but uh, three uh, third pounder is about all you could do. You could probably fit uh, probably four New York, eh, maybe three three New York strips and uh, maybe four chicken breasts, depending on how big they are. <clears throat> so it's not, it's not the biggest grill, obviously. Um, some of the cons, like I said, the uh, charcoal pods, once again, this is cool enough that I could touch it without a glove or anything. Uh, charcoal pods are about $12.50 a pop, so this isn't going to be something you're going to want to use every day, necessarily. Um, it would be great for tailgating, if just you and a couple people out uh, cooking up some, some brats or something. Uh, it'd be great for an RV or for car camping. Uh, for If you want to do a little picnic, um, it would be excellent for that. Uh, if you don't want to haul another portable grill, there's some other good portable grills that if you're going to be doing a lot of grilling on a camping trip, I, I'd, I'd, I'd recommend over this. Uh, but once again, this is easy. It's it's all portable. It comes in uh, The nice carrying case it all zips up. It seems like it'd be pretty water resistant so um, All in all I like it uh, once again. I, I'm not gonna use it every day. I won't try to make you think that I am uh, I might use it once or twice a year Maybe if we take the kids to the park and want to have a little lunch and cook up some hot dogs or something um, but if you're looking for a good portable grill, if you if you don't grill a lot, if you only grill a couple, need to use it a couple times a year, uh, it's definitely worth a look. Like I said, the whole kit I think is a uh, hundred dollars. Um, the grill itself I think is around sixty, but that doesn't come with the cutting board. Doesn't come with any of the. Uh, I don't think it comes with the charcoal pods. It might come with one. I think yeah, it would come with one. Um, and you can buy more charcoal pods separate. But I, I do like it has a thermometer in there, so you can kind of see. What the temperatures are once again you can pull it out use it to take the temperature of your meat i would probably use a different thermometer regularly to do that but that's the hero grill give it a look if you're looking for a portable grill or something to take with you um, if you have any questions or you have any thoughts on it leave a comment below thanks